Hello friends, welcome to the channel Solution. Today, in this video, we will explain you about the failing test, its principle and also show you how failing test is performed through the animation. Failing test is used to detect the presence of reducing sugar in any sample. Means to detect whether reducing sugar is present or absent in our sample. Reducing sugar for example, glucose, fructose, maltose, lactose. Glucose and fructose comes under the category of monosaccharides reducing sugar and maltose and lactose comes under the category of disaccharides reducing sugar. Means, failing test is the identification test for reducing sugar. So, let's start the procedure of failing test. First of all, take a clean and dry test tube and then transfer 1 ml of failing solution A with the help of pipette. After this, then add 1 ml of failing solution B in the same test tube and then after transferring equal volume means 1 ml of failing solution A and failing solution B into the test tube then mix the content of the test tube and then add 1 ml of test solution and then again mix the content of test tube and then boil the content of the test tube in the boiling water bath. Practical video of the preparation method of failing solution A and the failing solution B is already uploaded in our channel. Link of the video is given in the description box. Here, failing A solution is the solution of copper sulphate in water and failing B solution is the solution of potassium hydroxide and sodium potassium tartrate. After boiling the content of the test tube for about 5 to 10 minutes, if we observe brick red color precipitate in the test tube, it means in our sample reducing sugar is present. And if no yellow to red color precipitate form in the test tube, it means reducing sugar is absent. Here brick red color precipitate form, it means reducing sugar is present in our sample. So, in this way, we can identify the reducing sugar in our sample by performing failing test. Next, what is the principle of this failing test? Means, how reddish brown precipitate form in the presence of reducing sugar? Principle is that, if in our sample solution, reducing sugar is present, then it will reduce the copper sulphate which is present in the reagent. Means, reduction of copper sulphate takes place in the presence of reducing sugar and then after the reduction of copper sulphate, copper sulphate convert into cuprous oxide which is observed in the form of brick red color precipitate. So, this is the principle of Welling test. Thank you very much for watching this video.